It's time for another edition of five available whiskeys I'm drinking right now, December holiday edition uh, with Christmas just passed and New Year's coming up and all the family gatherings. Of course, you need some great available whiskeys to share with all your family and friends. Plus, you just may need something to keep you warm. So even the Grinch has one of his favorites on the list. He might be holding on to it right now, but let's find out what it is on the Mastin Drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from The Master and Drum. Welcome back to the show and happy holidays. Hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and getting excited for the new year. Um, as you may or may not know, I decided to make one of these videos every or every other month since there are so many allocated bottles these days. I always get asked about bottles I share or bring for the holidays. Um, of course, I bring some unicorns, but you can't always chase unicorns. So here are five, maybe six great bottles to share with all your family and friends this season. All right, so first, this is an OG. So last month I had the uh, 1910 from Old Forester on the list, but Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. First released in February 2012, Woodford Double Oaked is produced by rebarreling Woodford Reserve Distiller Select in a second virgin charred oak barrel for a little under a year. The second barrel used is deeply toasted before being lightly charred. It's bottled at only 90.4 proof and available everywhere for about 50 bucks. These days there are so many double oak products, um, this one seems to stand out as a favorite for everyone each and every year. It's a more interesting whiskey than the standard Woodford Select. It brings sweet oak, vanilla, some toasted marshmallow, hints of dried fruits every now and again. It's a great bottle that new and seasoned bourbon drinkers can enjoy just to kick off your night. All right, next one is a newer release that I've been loving lately. This is the Penelope Architect. It's newer, but why do I love it so much? French oak. French oak could come off a bit too oaky and spicy for some but the Penelope Architect offers a nice balance of sweet bourbon flavors with the best parts of French oak. This is a four grain mash bill. You're looking at 75 corn, 15% wheat, 7% rye, 3% malted barley. It's bottled at 104 proof and priced for about 65 bucks. Now the first build which I reviewed was heavy on the oak. It was a little bit dry, a little astringent, a little bit youthful. This is build three, and I think Penelope has given us less oak and way more dark fruit and baking spices. Perfect for the holidays, nutmeg, cinnamon, hint of raspberry and oak make this a great sipper for this time of year. So if you look on the bottom label in the back of the bottle, it'll tell you exactly what build it is. So if you find build three or even build four, which is out right now, definitely check it out. And if you can find the Penelope, but still want to taste some French oak, Maker's Mark 46 is always available as an alternative. Next thing I need is a rye, especially for the winter time. Look no further than Sagamore Spirit Cast Rank. Sagamore's Cast Rank Rye Whiskey is a blend of straight high rye and low rye mash bills, aged four to seven years, and retails for about 65 bucks. The proofs can range a bit, but generally sit at about 112 to 115 proof. For a rye, has a ton of depth of flavor. I think the older whiskey in there brings some chocolate, molasses, some of the oakier characteristics. And I swear, I get blueberry on this. I get blueberry, like blueberry muffin on this damn rye whiskey. I don't know where it comes from, but I know I've tasted it. The younger whiskey in the blend will bring you some citrus, some spice, a little bit of that black pepper, some black tea, and some of the more you know familiar notes you're used to with the rye whiskey. It's an absolutely fantastic rye just to help you keep warm for the winter. All right, next I need a barrel proof beast just to keep me warm on the inside. I mean, you could say Elijah Craig barrel proof, there's rare breed, there's a lot of barrel proof uh, whiskeys you, uh, you can go to on the shelf these days. But one that I love that's pretty available anytime you go out to look for bottles is the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. So this is a single barrel offering from Jack Daniels with proofs that can range from 125 all the way up to 140 proof. Now, I've noticed lately these seem to be getting more consistent compared to earlier years in the bottle, which is pretty good for a single barrel. But what you're left with, and this is what's in my glass right now, is this thick, rich, honey, caramel, bananas foster bomb that just warms your, just warms the soul. Warms the soul. Even this guy agrees and he's as cold as ice. Now some of the single barrels can be more oaky than others and some can even bring a little bit of a rich dark fruit note every now and again. Those are my favorites to find those. Um, it's about 65 bucks, it's just such a damn good pour and I still think, still think this gets overlooked. Lastly is the Grinch's favorite single malt scotch for the holidays. What I have here is quite possibly 
my world whiskey of the year for 2022. I gotta pour a little bit of this. This is the Bunahaven 12 year cast strength 2022 edition. Now back in 1881, Bunahaven was established in a remote location next to a natural spring on the very hard to navigate island of Isla in Scotland. This location is what I think gives Bunahaven such an interesting characteristic and also I think a perfect single malt for bourbon lovers as well. The 12 year old cast rank bottling is set to be inspired by their warehouse nine tastings. So for those unable to make the trip to Isla, this new release provides an opportunity to taste the Bunahaven single malt in its purest form, straight from the cask, 56.6% ABV and priced at about 90 to 100 bucks. Now, as you may or may not know, I'm a huge fan of the standard Bunahaven 12 year old bottling, which is also non-chill filtered, but bottled at 46% ABV. I did wonder how much better this could be given how much I love the original and it actually is better. The sherry is more pronounced, but I mean, it gets, it gets really chocolatey. And my favorite note in this, which definitely brings me to the holidays, which is why this is on my list, is roasted chestnuts. I get roasted chestnuts in here all day long. Reminds me of roasting them in the oven with my grandma and those scents that come out of the oven. Once you open up that oven and smell those roasted chestnuts a little bit overdone, this takes me back there. God, that's good. Yeah, he's like, don't drink it all. Now, this is a newer release. Uh, I think it's a more of a limited release. And I know the point is to kind of, you know, talk about things that are a little bit more available, but I could not leave this off the list. But the standard Bunahaven 12, which is also fantastic for this time of year, um, it's a little bit lower of a proof, like I mentioned, but you could find that pretty easily for about 60 bucks. Either way, it's one of the perfect holiday whiskeys to me each and every year. Bunahaven 12, it's just, it's an absolutely amazing whiskey. All right, guys, here are my five whiskeys I am drinking right now in December 2022. Woodford Double Oaked, Sagamore Spirit, Cast Strength Rye Whiskey, Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof, Bunahaven 12 Year Cast Strength, or you can use the uh, regular Bunahaven 12. And lastly, the Penelope Architect Series. Remember, if you can't find the Penelope Architect, you can always grab the Makers 46 to get those French oak flavors. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit that like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know what you think of my five. Let me know what your five are. Um, again, more on the available side, not too many, uh, to, not too many unicorns to, to add to the list. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share with. Cheers, happy new year, and I'll see you again real soon on the Mash and Drum. Take care.